Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Gigi Dolligna, the general manager of Ducati, addressed the incident involving Francesco Bagnaia and Marc Marquez during the MotoGP Portuguese Grand Prix. Dolligna described the clash as very regrettable, but opted not to make further comments, deeming them unnecessary given the racing incident ruling by the FIM stewards. Jorge Lorenzo weighed in on the incident between Francesco Bagnaia and Marc Marquez at the Portuguese MotoGP, suggesting that Bagnaia could have avoided the collision by allowing Marquez to pass. While race direction deemed it a racing incident, Lorenzo believes Bagnaia's actions were decisive in the crash. Davide Tardazzi, team manager of Lenovo Ducati, shared his views on the incident between Peco Bagnaia and Marc Marquez during the Portuguese MotoGP. He considers the matter resolved and emphasizes the competitive nature of MotoGP, acknowledging that such incidents occur in racing. Alex Rins acknowledges the need for a different approach to adapt to Yamaha's MotoGP bike effectively. Despite initially using Fabio Cordero's setup as a baseline, Rins recognizes the necessity to explore alternative strategies after encountering similar challenges at both Qatar and Portimo Grand Prix races. Click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Dolligna expresses regret over the incident between Banyaya and Marquez, acknowledging the impact it had on both riders' chances of scoring valuable championship points. He refrains from elaborating further, indicating that additional comments would be redundant in light of the racing incident ruling. Very regrettable was the incident involving Peko and Mark. In all honesty, any other comments would be utterly superfluous. Dolligna's reflection. Despite the unfortunate clash, Dolligna acknowledges the noteworthy performances of Ducati riders Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini. Martin's victory for Pramac and Bastianini's return to the podium after qualifying on pole are highlighted as significant achievements for the team. Ducati also gained second place on the podium with Inia, grit and determination for a very worthwhile result. We are at the beginning of the season and without any doubt, this second place counts as a win. Dolligna's recognition. Gigi Dolligna's comments reflect Ducati's perspective on the Banyaya slash Marquez incident, expressing regret over the clash while refraining from further commentary. Despite the setback, Ducati acknowledges the positive outcomes of the Portuguese Grand Prix, emphasizing the importance of perseverance and determination in achieving notable results early in the season. Lorenzo argues that Banyaya, having seen Marquez's intentions, could have prevented the crash by yielding to Marquez's overtake attempt. He attributes the collision to Banyaya's decision to attempt to squeeze past Marquez despite limited space, suggesting that Marquez bore less responsibility as the overtaking rider. Peko was the one who could have avoided this fall simply by letting Mark pass. Mark is not at fault, and Peko could have avoided the collision. But it is right not to penalize either of them. Lorenzo's Perspective Despite the incident, Lorenzo maintains that both Banyaya and Marquez remain contenders for the championship. He acknowledges Banyaya's composure and Marquez's adaptation to the Ducati, predicting their continued prominence in the title fight. Peko and Mark will be among the favorites for the world championship. Mark is feeling better and is going faster. Therefore, Peko and Mark will be among the favorites for the world championship. Lorenzo's assessment. Lorenzo expresses confidence in Banyaya's Ducati teammate, Inia Bastianini, tipping him as a title contender after a strong showing in Portimo. He highlights Bastianini's recovery from injury and improved comfort with the bike as factors contributing to his resurgence. Slowly finding confidence in himself, we will see a talented Bastianini who will fight for victories and certainly for the world championship. Lorenzo's backing of Bastianini Jorge Lorenzo's analysis emphasizes Banyaya's role in the incident, while maintaining optimism about both Banyaya's and Marquez's championship prospects. Additionally, he expresses support for Inia Bastianini's potential as a title challenger following his resurgence in form.
Tardazzi sees the clash between Banaya and Marquez as a racing incident, noting that both drivers have addressed the situation. He suggests that the issue has been resolved amicably, symbolized by a handshake between the two riders, indicating closure on the matter. It is something resolved and closed with a handshake. Tardazzi's Perspective Tardazzi acknowledges the intensity of competition in MotoGP, especially when two former champions like Marquez and Banyai are involved. He understands the desire of both riders to fight for position, highlighting the entertainment value for viewers while recognizing that such battles have their limits. When you have a six-time MotoGP champion and a two-time champion fighting, it is clear that neither of them want to give up. Tardazzi's View Tardazzi reflects on Banyaya's performance in Portimo, acknowledging that it was not his best weekend. However, he refrains from dwelling on the issue, suggesting that time and reflection are necessary before revisiting the topic. In cases like this you let some time pass, a few days, and then you talk again. Tardazzi's Reflection Tardazzi expresses optimism regarding Inia Bastianini's performance noting his improvement and potential for success in upcoming races. He highlights Bastianini's resurgence and the satisfaction it brings to the team, despite challenges faced in the previous season. He is rediscovering his 2022 speed. He is giving us the satisfaction he deserves. Tardazzi's Optimism Davide Tardazzi's perspective underscores the competitive dynamics of MotoGP emphasizing the resolution of the incident between Banyaya and Marquez. He also reflects on Banyaya's performance and expresses optimism for Bastianini's progress in the championship. Rins expresses his disappointment with his 13th place finish at the Portuguese Grand Prix, highlighting ongoing issues reminiscent of his struggles in Qatar. Despite some improvement, he identifies recurring difficulties with front-end grip and turning, especially after releasing the brakes and applying throttle. These two races I did, Qatar and Portimo, were not the way that I was expecting. I was struggling a lot with the front, after releasing brakes, going on throttle. Rins reflects. Rins reveals his reliance on Cordero's setup, but recognizes the necessity for a shift in approach to address his specific challenges. He emphasizes the importance of exploring alternative setups tailored to his riding style and preferences to overcome the identified shortcomings, particularly in terms of weight distribution and bike responsiveness. After this race, I realized that I need to do something different on the bike. Looks like we need more weight on the front to make the bike turn. Rins reflects. Despite Yamaha's efforts to address performance issues through a private test at Portimo, Rins highlights the limited usefulness of the session due to unfavorable track conditions. Despite the setback, he remains committed to refining his setup and addressing the challenges encountered in previous races. Due to dirty track conditions, not much useful running was able to take place. Rins comments on the test session. Alex Rins' acknowledgement of the need for a different approach reflects his commitment to overcoming challenges and optimizing his performance on Yamaha's MotoGP bike. By reassessing his setup and exploring alternative strategies, Rins aims to address recurring issues and enhance his competitiveness in future races. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and Rees is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.